Why doesn't it snow like it used to? It's a question I get time and time again during the winter. Sure, it seems like it used to be a lot snowier when you were a kid building snowmen or going sledding, but is it true? Let's take a look at the numbers. First, a starting point. If you average all the winters in triad history, you'll find that we average about eight inches per year. That's just a middle ground. Some years are above that, some years are below. It's an average. Now, let's dive into the real data. Throughout the years, we've had a lot of ups and downs with snow, but the trend line, it's actually pretty consistent. That's right, look at the whole picture. We're not actually getting snowier or less snowy over time, dating back to the 1920s. But let's dive a little bit deeper than that. Breaking it down another way reveals something pretty interesting. We're going to go by decade, and what we see here is that there's a little bit of variability. If you're a child of the 60s or 70s, check it out. You really played in more snow. These two decades stand out as the snowiest. What's a little more interesting, though, is this, the 1940s, the least snowy decade, followed by the 1990s. So if you grew up then, you didn't have as much snow to play with. Of late, in the 2010s, close to nine inches, we've actually been getting more snow again. To look at it another way, how often does it snow? Historically, our average is between two and three days per year, which hasn't really changed much. Breaking it down by decade shows that there was a peak in snowy days during the 60s and 70s, but that we're getting snow at a very healthy clip nowadays compared to average. So wait a second, aren't we getting warmer? Well, yeah, we actually are. That's what's surprising about all of this. Looking at our data, our wintertime temperatures have actually been getting warmer consistently through the years. The average temperature during the winter months has gone up three degrees since the 1930s all the way to today. So you would think that that means less snow, but that just hasn't been the case. Warmer winters don't necessarily mean that we get less snow. So does it snow like it used to? To me, the data says yes, it does, but it depends on when you grew up. If you're a child of the 60s and 70s, you were treated to some of the snowiest winters in triad history. So it's a bit different than if you grew up in the 40s or the 80s or the 90s. You get the idea. Of course, this winter is a bad one to have this conversation. We're currently in one of the great snow droughts in triad history. Over 420 days and counting. We'll be carefully watching the rest of February and March. It's been almost 30 years since 1992 that we've had a winter with only a trace of snow. Even though it's been warm, we still have almost two months to go and we'll be watching.